Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got a many inspired by fashion, and this is being revisited. I'm going to start off with Neltique's Formula 2 and Revlon's Knockout <laughs> and Hee Hee Plate number 091, my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper, Bundle Monster Straight Up Black Stampin' Polish, and I'm going to use an array of all kinds of stampers, all kind of clear stampers, AliExpress, Born Pretty, Wish, everybody. So I'm going to use this black stamp and polish and pull up this image. And we're doing it in black this time. Last time I, it was a white based Manny, and so I decided I had to redo this. And we are going to have to redo that one. I didn't like the way it looked. And we're going to get a good swipe on that one. There we go. Wonderful pickup. So I'm going to set these aside. I'm going to plop, plop, plop them off. I'm going to do five of them and uh, set them to the side to kind of dry a little bit before we fill them in with our color. And another great pickup. And here we go again. Third time. Beautiful. I'm loving it. So happy that I'm getting to revisit this. I've been reminded recently that I needed to uh, go back and do this one because I said I would. Another awesome pickup. I'm going to color these in and this one is the Granny Smith Apple by the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Line and these are the part of the new Crayola collection. And then this one is Carnation Pink. And I'm just filling in in those blank spaces with these. And that's Cerulean Blue. And I'm just using a little dotting tool. I'm using the fatter end of it. And I'm just going in and filling in all of these. And that's the purple one. I can't remember which color it is. If I can figure out which one it is then I will list it below camera wouldn't focus on it so <clears throat> and sunset orange I have <clears throat> excuse me I have been playing with these polishes a whole lot stamping water marbling and here's dandelion the beautiful yellow um, I have swatched them on swatch sticks, and I'm just highly impressed. For a drugstore brand, these are off the hook wonderful. I mean, they're not your dollar polishes. I think mine were 4 or $5 a piece, something like that. But I can assure you, in my mind, they're worth every penny. So we've got all of these. Look how pretty. We've got all of these filled in. I'm going to let them dry. And now I'm going to go in and do a heavy coat of super dry. I'm dipping back in the bottle after each swipe because these are rather, you know, thick polishes. They're very pigmented, very thick. Now that they are dry, they're tacky dry, I'm applying them straight to my nail and mushing them down, folding them out, making sure they're flat, kind of tucking the end in. And I'm going to use some little scissors to kind of trim up a little bit of the excess and get that off. I wish it all came off that easy. I was not so lucky. And I swear I'm not cutting myself. I promise, I promise. I'm just looking dangerous. I'm really not hurting myself. This is quite a mess to clean up. And if I would have let them dry, dry, and made total decals out of them I could have trimmed them down some before applying them to my nails but I didn't want to distort the, the image I didn't want to you know mess with it um, and since I was doing all five fingernails I wanted to make sure that you know I, I could just bam 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 do them if that makes any sense I might be just rambling here but I'm trimming them up a little bit with those little scissors and these are not my normal little scissors I've got my acetone and a Q-tip, and I'm going to go in and do some of this big cleanup very carefully. Try to get some of this big cleanup done. 
before I try to do my, you know, like intense in there, in tight cleanup. Got to get up under there. Try to melt some of that excess decal and get it out of there too. This is my old, old cleanup brush and I'm using it for like some scrubby dub cleaning. You know, some of that heavy duty, you know, stuff. I don't want to ruin my new cleanup brush going all crazy with it. So I'm using my old one just to do some of the big stuff. Now I'm going to go in with my fine detail cleanup brush and some acetone. But I, I had to put the lid back on that real quick. And then we're just going to, you know, do our serious cleanup now and melt the tips. You know, there's, there's some of that decal hanging off, so I want to make sure I get that cleaned up also. And this is quite a messy one to clean up. It was quite a challenge, but I'm telling you, in the end, when I saw the manicure, it was worth every bit of the long cleanup. Every bit of it. This is just one of my favorites. But anytime I stamp with black polish, it's it's a mess to clean up. It just it just is. Unless I can do my little tape trick, which was not happening here. It just was not happening. So getting all up under there. That's where I always forget to clean after things like this. And I'm going to do some more melting and cleaning up under that fingernail. There we go. So I'm going to zoom you guys in so y'all can see a little bit better, hopefully, if the camera will focus. And I'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat. Seal that rascal in. Get it all nice and smooth. Cap my end. And voila! Well, almost. Woody had to come play. He said, no, no, no. Hang on a minute. There we go. And we're all done with this one. Here's my swatch photo. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.